Hey guys, what's going on? It's Garrett. Many of you have been asking how I make my FNAF VHS content, so I thought I'd share a look into my most viewed video. Before we get into that, I want to thank you all for 2,000 subscribers. It's crazy that there's one person out there that loves my content, let alone 2,000 and growing. I also want to thank you guys for 160k on generator repair, holy cow. When I was making that video, I had no clue so many people were going to see it. And you guys love it. I truly appreciate every one of you guys who comments and watches my videos. You guys are awesome. Alright, now I'm with some of the juicy stuff. Everything you see on my channel, except for the Fears to Fathom short film, is full CG. The two programs I use to create this are Blender and HitFilm, which are both free. Let's hop into one of the Blender project files and I can show you around. Alright, well this is generator repair. The vent and elevator scene are in a separate Blender file because my computer kept crashing. Alright, this is the parts and service room from generator repair. You can see the endo here that wasn't in the original video. This was planned to be the original thumbnail but was ultimately scrapped for the Chica thumbnail which I think fits the video a lot better. I was basing it off the Kane Pixels original backrooms video and how the thumbnail was really creepy but didn't have a lot to do. You didn't actually see that in the video. But at the end of the day it just didn't feel right since in the video there's no endo attacking the night guard. So it felt kind of weird to show the endo in the thumbnail. And it didn't pop out from the background, it kind of blended in. So you can see the whole parts and service room is basically fully made and textured besides the door, but you never see that. Most of all the textures I got from Texture Haven or Textures.com, which are completely free websites. All the models that I didn't make or the animatronics I got off Sketchfab, which is also a free 3D model website. For the service room, I just took the heads off the characters and put them on the shelves. The checkerboard floor is actually a really high quality, but you just never see it much because of the VHS filter. If we continue down the steps, you can see that they're much shorter than the actual video makes them out to be. But in the video, I like to think that they're like miles long. It's kind of like dream imagery, like just staircases that just go on forever that you've actually never seen in real life. So the base idea for coming down here to restart the generator was from this super old Gary's Mod map. Where there's this little area and I thought it was super cool. My friend originally gave me the idea for the whole power loss and having to go outside to restart the generator, but then I changed it to be in the basement area and I think it came out really good. The video was originally supposed to be super short, it was just going to be a sequel to the 1am video and be called 3am and you watch the night guard turn on the generator and then he goes back up and sees that one of the animatronics has gone off the stage, but I kept getting crazy ideas for the story and eventually I just let my brain take over. So the idea for the lever and secret passage was kind of crazy because this is where I feel the video like really starts, once the second stairway is revealed. Now, we as the audience have some questions. So immediately I knew I was onto something pretty good. I also had no clue how I was going to film me turning the handle since I'm horrible at 3D animation other than the camera movement. So I set up a green screen and then I got my camera and filmed me pretending to turn a wooden lever even though there was nothing there. I think I was holding a screwdriver in the video. <laughs> if we're looking at the base footage, it looks really dumb. But it actually came out really good, and I definitely want to do that live action CGI mix again because it was super fun. The Foxy encounter wasn't even in the original script, but I felt I needed a reason why the night guard wanted to explore and not just go back up to his job. Him slipping down the steps felt like a really natural way of getting to the next area, but it's also a reason why he needs to keep moving forward. Foxy saw him and it won't be long before he starts coming down those steps. Now when he falls there's actually a secret cut because I had to switch between two different blender files. But there's so much motion blur that nobody could tell. I saw one comment about when the night guard falls, he's now in the back rooms, which, which made me laugh because the back rooms is actually a huge inspiration for me. I definitely tried to mix the feel of back rooms in FNAF without it being too forced or obvious. Like, it's not actually the back rooms, but it gives off that liminal space kind of vibe. I was also going to have a lot more live action footage, like one of me falling down the steps, but it proved to be a lot more difficult than what I was going for and I didn't want it to look too bad and take the people out of the video so I just cut it. Now the Chica model is not mine. It was on Sketchfab and it was made by Sekernix, I think. Sekernix. Well I'm sorry. Uh, but it <laughs> looks so good. I knew it would fit perfectly into the video. Like with Foxy, I never really wanted Chica to like come in alive and chasing the cameraman even though that's like one of the huge moments in the video. In the script I made, there's no scare, you just watch as the guard explores further and eventually ends up at the house, but I kind of realized we need a scare and we need a creepy factor to it, so I kind of changed it all. If we move further through the vents, we can see the toy animatronics, this is the little room I made for him. 
I thought that having all the restaurants connected like this was kind of a cool idea that nobody has ever done that I've seen. I also think that this could be like after the FNAF 2 location shut down or maybe before it, it even opened and these robots are just in storage deep below ground and probably won't ever be seen again. And who knows how many other storage rooms are down there containing however many stuff. I actually plan to have three or four different storage rooms. One was going to have the withered animatronics. Minus Chica since she was back there. I eventually cut that scene though. This little room with the elevator was kind of cool. Because I wanted like a real TV playing some Freddy Fazbear advertisement. Like that was made in the 80s. Uh, I know there were some fan made uh, Freddy's ads online. But I didn't want to use them without their permission. So I went back and mixed real footage from Showtime Pizza and uh, Chuck E. Cheese. And I think it came out kind of cool. It actually gives me more nostalgia knowing that these were actual real places. Some people in the comments actually noticed that there was the footage from Chuck E. Cheese. So shout out to you guys. The little bit on the end was actually something I made. It just shows the address for the new Freddy's Place opening in the strip mall. Okay, now a ton of comments have pointed out that there's Russian graffiti inside the elevator. And yes, there is. But why is it in a Midwestern pizza place? Well, I have a couple different theories for this. But I won't say a definite answer, but the one that makes the most sense to me is that the owner is a cheapo and got this elevator for a small price. He needed a ton of elevators for some other classified reasons, but so that makes the most sense to me. But that's not official, that's just a theory that I've come up with. I had the original idea that the Chica jump scare would be while the guard is still in the vent and he would have to crawl to the elevator room and wait for the elevator while Chica is slowly coming towards him and then he would kill Chica in the elevator door. But it seemed kind of crazy that the night guard would already be capable of killing these like 7 foot tall robots. You also wouldn't have seen any of the TV footage and stuff like that, so I eventually changed it. And if you've seen Under Construction, you kind of learn that the night guard is more capable of doing things now. <laughs> the final set area is the house on the hill. FNAF fans will definitely know which house this is just by the silhouette. To help with this, the FNAF 4 theme starts playing and ends out the video. I won't say much, but knowing that this house is directly connected to the pizzeria means a lot in this storyline. Now if you haven't checked out the newest video and sequel to this, titled Under Construction, please go check it out. It'll be the top of the description and at the end card. I put so much work into that video, so I'd love it if you guys went and checked it out. That was all for this video, but if you guys want to see any behind the scenes for the new Under Construction, let me know by liking the video and commenting down below. I'm playing in some horror stuff unrelated to FNAF and I'm really really excited for that. I'll post a lot more on the community tab once I actually start filming those. But I have a bunch of ideas in my head for different horror style short films that I'm really excited to make. As always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later.